So good morning or good night, depending on where you are in the world, and welcome to another album review of The Shield Dude on a Couch. I'm your host, Hector, and today we're going to talk about the brand new album by Baroness, and it's called Stone. So Baroness, for those of you that don't know, it's a band that, you know, have that, like that sludgy, like stoner, doom feel to it, but they changed their sound over the years, especially when they did this album, Purple. When this came out, you know, the band had gone through a horrible bus accident when they were on tour, I think in England. And two of the mem members had to leave the band because obviously serious complications, but John Basley has been the mainstay in the band. And this was an album that they had a shift in tone, especially with the songs, they were very introspective. So Baroness changed their sound to a more introspective, not always like super hard sound. And then they did that with the previous record, Golden Grey, and now they have Stone. So another thing is this is the first album that is not a color. So it's a new chapter, if you will, for the band. So how do they sound right now? So let's talk about the elephant in the room. The last album, Golden Grey, even though it was a great album, it was highly criticized a little bit by the production and the sound of the record because not every, you know, the, the sound of the record wasn't the best, but on this one, Stone, I can say that they have corrected this, and this has a great sound uh, that they didn't have on the previous record. So this is a record that has 10 songs, and it's under 46 minutes in length, and it's a record that it's, it's mixing that beautiful introspective sound of Baroness with their sludgier sound from the past. So uh, the album, the, one of the best tracks is the first single that they released, which was Last Word. When that song starts, you know, it has a great riff that just hit you in the fucking nuts. It's just great. And there's a great solo in the track that I really enjoy. And it's a solo that you I could really enjoy because the production was very well. And I just love John Basley's vocals, like when he screams like, I remember every last word. That's something that he does well, that he has improved. When he sings with emotion, you can really feel it. And sometimes this type of stoner or doom singers, like sometimes you can't get the emotion like John does. So I think that's one of the strong suits of Baroness. Uh, they do that again with Beneath the Rose, which is another of the singles that they release. And that was, is, is very beautiful. Uh, I like the guitar on it and the chorus is very infectious as well. And it goes, like the weird guitar at the end goes into the next song, which is Choir. And you're like, oh, another song started. And on that one, they do something different. There's kind of like a spoken word type of like uh, singing, like very Johnny Cash, and it starts on Beneath the Rose. So that's something that I think it's new to the band. I don't think they did it on their last albums. And, you know, it, it has like smaller songs, like for example, they start with a very like uh, uh, beautiful intro with Embers. And then they have uh, in the middle of the album, another like smaller track called The Dirge. And there you have Gina, singing with John and it's a beautiful like short track that goes well into Anodyne which is another of the singles that they just released and Anodyne it has another great guitar hook on it that really gets you in the mood from the beginning and it's great because it's in the half point of the album so it prepares you for the second half. Uh, other songs like Shine and Magnolia are solid as well. Uh, Magnolia starts so softly like the first 40 seconds, I was like, okay, I, I hear like something, but very faintly. And then it starts picking up and you get uh, more uh, dual singing from John and Gina. And that's something that I really enjoy. The last tracks really use Gina a lot on the singing. Uh, the standout tracks beside uh, the single last word for me are Under the Wheel. Uh, that's the other track that's really a standout track uh, with with Anodyne as well. And Under the Wheel is a song that really uh, has a lot of changes in the song and it can go from slower to more aggressive, but not very truly aggressive. And Gina does like this vocal effect, like in, in a part of the song that it's really catchy. And I love it because then they start like singing together and 
it gives like a different layer to the song and it's it's a great song it's a very emotional song as well and they finished the album with a song called bloom and bloom is more like an acoustic track uh, not country but uh, when i listen to this track i think of like someone like sitting next to a fire and just belching out this track the vocals on this track are very beautiful uh the way they sing together it, there's a lot of harmony and i like it that baroness is not afraid to get like more introspective and slower and not rely on aggression to make the band heavy a band can be heavy with subject matter and and, and feel and i think baroness are one of the best bands right now doing this and i think john basley has a great voice and I, I and i like the way he writes the songs you know the the songs have like a purpose and every song goes into the other one like flawlessly it feels like like a like a little bit of a story and i like that this album is called stone and this feel like this is like the stone a stone lays the foundation and this is the foundation for the baroness to come because no longer doing the color albums now they have the sky's the limit and i like the experimentation and a little bit of progginess that this album brings to the plate so an amazing album by baroness and the sound is good so do not complain people so i want you to, i want to know like comment what are your favorite tracks from this album i would really want to know and would, do you agree with me with the sound quality and if you like the videos that i'm putting out do not forget to give me a like and do not forget to subscribe. I have more content on the way. And subscribing and doing all that really helps me with the YouTube algorithm to get to more people like yourself. So until next time, people, this is Hector, the shield dude on a couch, and I'll see you all right here on the couch. Thank you and good night.